I, like Luke, came out here um, about 20 years ago. Um, my first experience here at Indian Creek, I couldn't even leave the ground at <laughs> day one. Um, couldn't understand the crack technique. That quickly changed as we kept coming back. Um, Luke, myself, and a few of our other Gunnison friends. Um, through my work choices after college uh, is where Luke and I met. Um, uh, I ended up in a variety of places, but I ended up in Monticello, Utah um, in 2003, early 2003, um, to run a conservation corps. Um, so I ended up living in Monticello for uh, about eight years. And uh, as our uh, uh, film crew knows, uh, small Utah towns are an interesting place to live, especially if you're not part of the main population. Um, and so it took a while to <laughs> learn, um, learn how that operated. But I'm glad I lived in a small Utah town for long enough to understand that process and understand the people and understand the community and a lot more. So it, it makes this place even more special to me. My story includes being a resident of rural Utah and being a resident of this place and talking and becoming to know people that were part of a whole bunch of people that said no monument um, for a variety of reasons. Um, and me living amongst those folks, not from the outside, uh, as a lot of people do, and I'm not saying that's a negative thing at all, um, but understanding living in these small rural Utah communities and working in and around them uh, and working with their kids uh, and their kids learning about land management um, through the conservation core work I did for all those years. So that's what makes this place even more special to me. Obviously, the geology is incredible. Uh, this Wingate layer is, is something else, brings us out here for these immaculate splitters that's like nowhere else on the planet um, is why it's such a, an amazing place for folks. So, and then the second part of the gratitude of this place is that I found this place with friends and uh, this place continues to keep me close to those friends. Um, it's, this place is what we, if we don't do anything else as friends for the rest of our lives, we'll always do, we'll always be here together um, in one way, shape or form, even when the weather is, uh, we could say bad if we're here just to climb, but we're not here just to climb. This place is beyond um, that for us. Um, so that's, uh, in a very long winded answer. Um, I'm just so grateful, um, for what this place is. And then lastly, um, the more political piece of this obviously is, uh, what will happen ultimately with the national monument and the protections, uh, that were given and pulled away and what's going to happen in these massive court battles. Uh, I have and have been on record to say this before, there's a lot of hope. I think we've got hope in this process and especially because the intertribal coalition is actually hammering pretty hard on this situation. And I think that's going to be more powerful than anything else. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that and very hopeful. Um, but the gratefulness of all the hard work of people and grateful that I understand both sides of the issue. Uh, I'm definitely for monument, but I understand and because of living in these communities, I understand both sides of the issue very deeply and have respect for both sides of the issue. Yet my beliefs are still uh, more protection is always better if we get the opportunity. So that is my long-winded answer for gratefulness. Um,